On this Friday, September 11th, 9-11 Memorial Day, for Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Well, in news from up on top of the rim, recently, Coconino County Sheriff's Deputy Andrew Luna was speaking with a group of campers on Forest Road 122C, that's just south of Clint's Well along Highway 87, when a UTV rollover accident occurred nearby. Deputy Luna and other citizens immediately responded to the emergency unfolding in front of them to provide emergency medical care, saving the life of a 19-year-old female who was badly injured in the rollover accident. The incident was captured on body camera video, which had been activated while the deputy was speaking with campers about a separate incident. Bystanders in the area and the deputy ran to the scene of the rollover while dust was still settling from the crash. The vehicle had landed on its side on top of the driver. Bystanders uprighted the vehicle to access the victim and the deputy called in a request for emergency medical response to the scene. The driver, identified as 19-year-old female out of Phoenix, was bleeding profusely from her left arm, which had suffered a near-complete amputation above the elbow. Citizens and the deputy provided emergency first aid to the victim. Deputy Luna quickly retrieved a tourniquet, which is issued to all sheriff's office deputies, and applied that tourniquet above the injury, effectively stopping the bleeding. Same location, 1.7 miles on the 122 Charles Road. Blood loss. I need you to wrap it. Can you wrap it up over here? She lost her button. I need her down. She's busy, bud. She needs to put it up over here. Sit down, baby. How about lay down? Lay down. Lay her down. Lay her down. As a result of the remote and rough road conditions, initial access to the scene by the Blue Ridge Fire Department was difficult, so Deputy Luna prepared to transport the victim in his patrol vehicle. He applied a second tourniquet and moved the victim into the back seat of his patrol car. At that time, the ambulance was able to access the scene and assume medical care. The victim was transported to an awaiting Native Air helicopter and flown to Honor Health Scottsdale Osborne for treatment. The victim was reported to have survived the incident thanks to the quick actions of bystanders and Deputy Luna's response in applying a tourniquet within minutes of the injury occurring. Since 2011, deputies with the Coconino County Sheriff's Office have been issued bleeding control equipment such as tourniquets, compression bandages, and hemostatic gauze such as quick clot to use in such incidents. Every deputy in the Coconino County Sheriff's Office receives formal training in the application of these medical tools and their appropriate use during traumatic injury related to events in addition to yearly hands-on continuing training in applying them. Well, the Coconino County Sheriff's Office wanted to extend gratitude to the many bystanders who responded to the scene to provide emergency aid to the victim as well as care of others at the scene. Well, and in some other good news, U.S. Senator Martha McSally yesterday announced that Gila County will receive $21 million in funds to build a bridge over Tano Creek in the same location where three young children died just last year. Gila County will receive the funding under the fiscal year 2020 Better Utilizing Investments to Leverage Development or Build Grant Discretionary Grant Program. McSally said, last November, Arizonans mourned the loss of the Rawlings family's three young children who died during an accident crossing a flooded Tano Creek. McSally said, no other family should have to experience this kind of unimaginable loss. She says, I took Arizona's grief and concern directly to the Department of Transportation to advocate for Tano Creek Bridge funding. Well, after a phone call with Secretary Chow yesterday morning, she said, I'm pleased to announce that Gila County will receive the grant funding I fought for and the county needs. This bridge will provide safe passage over Tano Creek during flooding and provide critical access to schools, health care, and work for residents who right now have to travel 75 miles in a detour, including four-wheel drive roads, just to get around the lake. 
She said, I appreciate the Transportation Department recognizing life-saving values of this bridge. Well, Gila County Public Works Director Steve Sanders said, this bridge has been a long time coming. We um, started this project in 2005, so 15 years later we have um, the funding to build the bridge. Hopefully within two years we will um, be driving across the bridge and have um, no more tragedies in the area and have safe travels for everyone concerned. Since 1995, a total of eight people have died while trying to cross the flooded Tonneau Creek. Coming up in Rim Country weather, high pressure is going to be rebuilding over Rim Country this weekend, bringing in warmer temperatures once again. So how hot can you expect things to get? A complete report is coming up. You're watching Rim Country News. Taking a look at Rim Country weather, high pressure will rebuild over the area through the weekend and early next week, bringing a period of warmer weather. Arizona remains under a dry northwesterly flow aloft in response to a strong high pressure ridge building over the west coast. The ridge will slide eastward over the coming days, dominating the weather across our region. You can expect mainly dry conditions through the weekend into early next week with warm temperatures. Upper-level westerly flow may draw areas of elevated smoke from California wildfires into Arizona later this afternoon, leading once again to hazy skies. Similar conditions may occur all the way through the weekend. Daytime highs in the greater Payson area today should be right around 84 degrees, warming up to around 90 over the weekend. Still no rain in the Payson weather forecast for at least the next seven days. Up on top of the rim today, they can expect a mild high near 73 degrees and a slight chance for showers on Sunday and Monday, with highs up there gradually warming in to the upper 70s. And our neighbors to the south in Tonneau Basin, well, highs down there today should be around 94 degrees and warming to just around 100 degrees over the weekend. No rain in the forecast for down there anytime soon. And that's what's happening around rim country. For Tonneau TV, KRIM Radio News and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Friday.